One of the biggest categories of crypto is stable coins. But what exactly is a stable coin? Well, in simple terms, it's a cryptocurrency whose price is pegged towards a certain currency or commodity. Here are some examples of stable coins pegged towards different currency. You have USDC with a dollar, Euro coin with Euro, GYN with Yen, along with all types of coins like the Mexican Peso. And the prices of the stable coins stay pegged because of the collateral. When you want to buy $1 worth of stable coin, you would need $1 worth of cash. This applies to all currencies and stable coins. If $1 of stablecoin isn't backed with one dollar in cash then no one would use stablecoin anymore after that the price would depeg and head towards zero dollars however the price is expected to be the same forever and to remain non-volatile the transaction speed and transaction fees are lowered if you use stablecoins compared to using cash for transaction speed when you use money to buy cryptocurrencies banks will usually make you wait a couple days to verify it but if you were to use a stable coin to exchange for other cryptos you can do it almost instantly when you use stable coins for transactions there's also no middleman involved that means you don't have to pay transaction fees making it cheaper than cash However, some exchanges do take fees. And not only that, one of the benefits for stablecoins is that the APR for them is usually higher than a bank's saving account. That means you can earn a lot more, and in some places, you can make double digit percentage gains. There are also some risks with stablecoins. Uh, Currently, there's a stable coin called BUSD or Binance USD, and the bank that issued it was ordered by the regulators to shut it down and cease issuing any more BUSD. That's because there isn't much regulatory clarity for stable coins. Also, stable coins, unlike banks, are not FDIC insured. That means if a bank is FDIC is insured and then it fails, uh, the customers, when, even though they would lose their deposit, the FDIC can return it to you and give you up to $250,000 back. But stable coins can't do that. Because, and once they go under, you, won't, you will lose everything. And because of these risks, you shouldn't go all in on stable coins. Maybe have a portion of your money in, but definitely not all. And if you have any questions, you can put them in the comment section below. If you think this content was helpful, please hit that like button and hit subscribe. Thank you for watching.